What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two of... Wait, what the... What the f... Anyway, here's some more PvP clips with a behind-the-scenes look at my thought processes during my fights. This clip here is a good example of how having a coordinated group is more important than just having numbers in PvP. One very useful aspect of fighting in a small group is making sure that everyone in your group understands your group's strengths and weaknesses. So we have an under-geared, under-leveled healer, Manly Men, in the white. You're going to see me standing near him the majority of this fight. We also have King Richard, who's a very, very effective DPS player and also very good at keeping himself alive. So you're going to see him off on his own doing his own thing until we actually need him to help us out. So you can see our healers getting focused big time here. I'm going to call for some peels in our group, so I'm going to knock these guys down. King Richard's going to bolt escape through them. So we're going to take everyone out to fight for a quick second so our healer has a second to get his health back up. So we notice this guy's not breaking out of his CC, so real quick we pump him full of a soul assault and knock his ass out of the fight. So at this point these guys are probably getting pretty discouraged and they're running out of resources. You can see this guy is not breaking his CC. Bash that guy, stop him from resin. You can see the guy backpedaling to the right. He's going to start doing a heavy attack, cancel that shit so he doesn't get his MP back. Now we got Shark in the fight. It's over. The most influential factor that helped us win this fight was our coordination whenever our healer was getting focused. As a PvP tank, I don't have the ability to taunt opponents to get them off of my groupmates. So what I have to do instead is save all my resources for my CCs. Save my MP and stamina for my knockdowns. That way I can peel for my healer. I can also call for my groupmates in voice chat to help me peel to keep our healer alive. Here's a nice quick 2v3 with me and Shark. So Shark's a Nightblade who's a stamina build, very high DPS, but can't take a lot of hits. So what I'm going to do is make sure I CC these guys to get them off of Shark. Like I said, he can't take a lot of hits, so I'm going to knock them down, DPS them just a little bit, focus on the other guy to make sure Shark isn't getting 2v1 here, take him out with a CC, do a little bit of DPS. He's not breaking the CC, so I'm just going to pump him, keep my camera focused on Shark in case he needs some help. Obviously not. Alright, we got two coming up here. What do we got? V14 DK, V8 Templar. Alright, not only is this guy the lower level, so he should be easier to kill, but he's also the healer, so I know I'm not going to be able to kill the, D the DK while the Templar is alive. Focus my energy on killing the Templar. Here comes the jab spam, very easy to counter. Block the first one, wait for the second one to start, CC him right when it starts so he doesn't get to the last hit in the jab, which is a CC. Since I'm immune to CCs, it's a good time to use a heavy attack. Now I'm gonna pump a lot of my resources, just burn my resources real quick because I know I'm about to use an ultimate and a potion. Back up to half stamina, I can keep DPS in this guy really hard, I'm playing very aggressive in this one. This is a typical fight against the Templar, just completely ignoring that Dragon Knight. Squeezing some heavy attacks in between the biting jabs, squeezing some CCs in between the biting jabs. Now he's not breaking CC, I know he's vulnerable. So I'm gonna smack him real hard, real quick. Except that Dragon Knight's hitting me pretty hard now, so I'm gonna... Take it back a notch, regain myself, get some more resources with some heavy attacks. Taking a lot of hits right here. Uh, this is going to be dirty, real close. No, no thank you, not going down that easy. So the beauty of this moment right here is they are so focused on killing me because they got me really close, but what they don't know is I still have a lot of MP. I'm still doing perfectly fine, so keep my heels up. These guys are just burning their resources on me, so this guy's out of stamina. Get on him, he is done. Now comes the easy part. I've been taking both these guys the whole time. Now it's just one. So I'm going to take it easy, get my resources back with some heavy attacks. I know this guy's low because when I got really low on health, he was just bursting the shit out of me. Uh, you notice that he just broke a CC right before he was almost out of the CC by itself. So that's a huge waste of resources for him. I know he's not doing so hot. I think I'm just going to put my weapon away and let my dots do the rest of the work. So we'll finish this episode off with a 1v1 against Temptation. Temptation's a Templar, very good dueler, very strong build. I'll soon learn that his biting jabs hit for a lot of damage even on me. So he starts this fight off with a ultimate, which is kind of dirty, but that's okay. First thing I notice is he's using defensive posture, which will reflect my rocks, which is a pretty hard counter to my build, especially if he stays in my face, because my only knockdown will be my invasion, which just requires distance from the target. So after fighting him for a while pretty defensively, I think I've got him figured out. He's just going to be using his jabs, so all I need to do is wait for that opportunity when he's in the middle of the jab cast and knock him down. 
I've been playing very defensively since up until now, but I think it's time to bust out the big guns. So I'm gonna go into Werewolf, fear him, knock him down, smack him with a heavy attack. I'm gonna use my dot with Werewolf because that reduces the healing that he takes. And I'm just gonna sit inside his Caltrops and just keep smacking him, keep the pressure, knock him down, heavy attack. So since I was fighting him for so long outside of Werewolf in a very defensive manner, he thought he probably thought he had me, but little did he know, it's time for lunch. Stay tuned for some more episodes in the Art of PvP series. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe for some more.